A little bit ago, I was over by my Redfoot tortoises and I noticed there was a tiny little baby inside of their pen. We found more tortoises. They were stuck in the dirt, in the mud, going to suffocate. First tiny baby ground hatched Redfoot. This is an egg right here and we're gonna crack it open. Oh my goodness. Check this hole again. Look, there's some more. Oh no, no, oh my gosh. He almost just stepped on it. Guys. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well of course it was absolutely insane. A little bit ago I was over by my Redfoot tortoises and I noticed there was a tiny little baby inside of their pen, meaning I missed a clutch of eggs and the tortoise hatched out of the ground and was inside of their pen. This is really bad because the little tortoises are very delicate and fragile and the big tortoises could eat them, they could crush them and guys we found more tortoises they were stuck in the dirt in the mud going to suffocate guys if you want to see us help these baby tortoises out well you guys are in the right place and we're going to hop right into today's video now guys I just came outside to mist my red foot tortoises down to feed them for the day to see how they're doing they all are out right now we were just changing their waters and guys you are not gonna believe what I just found. This is the first time for me that I have ever found this. You can see the Redfoots right now. They're just munching on some greens, having a good time, looking for some food. But guys, look at this. This is absolutely insane. It's actually really amazing to see this. But look at this, guys. Let me wait for it to focus. Look at this, guys. The first tiny baby ground hatched Redfoot here at my zoo, guys. So this little guy just hatched completely out of the ground because yolk sac is not even healed yet. Absolutely amazing that he came out of the ground. So that means, that means that there is a nest of eggs that I actually did not dig up that I missed and they are now hatching out into tiny little baby tortoises. Now guys, I'm not sure if there's more in here, but if one hatched, guys, let's, I'm hoping that there's a couple of more. So guys, this is not good because these big, big tortoises here could really hurt hurt and attack this little baby Redfoot. I mean, you can see just how tiny he is compared to all these others. I mean, just compared to some of my smaller ones, he is just so incredibly tiny. And compared to this big mama right here, look at this, she could literally eat him, swallow him. Hey, hey, don't eat him, what are you doing? What are you doing? But let's actually rinse him off. Let's get all this dirt off. Now let's see the hose right here. We're gonna put the little tortoise here. So we're just gonna move it right now to the shower mode and we're just gonna mist this little tortoise down just like this. We're gonna mist him off. We're gonna get him nice and clean. Look at that, guys. Look at this. And this little guy is just absolutely perfect. I suspect he's only a couple of days old, maybe even a couple of hours old. He, look, he literally looks like he just came out of the egg. This means that there is probably more little baby tortoises inside of this pen. Maybe they haven't hatched out yet. Maybe they're just starting to hatch, guys, because sometimes a clutch of tortoises takes a couple of days to hatch. So guys, we're gonna come here right now and I'm gonna take this water dish because I don't really have anything else for this little guy. We're gonna put him right here and we're just gonna flip this water dish here and we're gonna put this little baby tortoise right here in this dish and we're gonna take this dish and we're going to uh, we're gonna take it over here in the shade we don't want this little guy to overheat and we're gonna put him right up here up on top of this freezer right here he's gonna be nice and safe and sound and guys Right now, we're gonna have to go inside of the red foot pen. We're gonna have to dig around and hopefully extract what other tortoises are left in there. Guys, there could be no other tortoises. There could be up to five more baby tortoises in there. This is absolutely insane because I've never had a ground hatch baby. A lot of my other friends have had that happen. So guys, without further ado, we're gonna head back to the red foot pen and we're gonna start digging it up and hopefully save these little tortoises from suffocating in there. So we're gonna head over there now and hopefully save some more baby tortoises. So now that we put the little baby red foot that we found, in the shade so he doesn't overheat it is time to extract the red foot pen now i am getting ready to completely upgrade this pen eventually they're going to be moved to another part of the property but we just have so many projects going on that we got to take everything step by step so i definitely want to give them an upgrade soon we're actually for the time being in a, just a couple of days we're going to be extending this whole pen to about here just temporary until we move them to their permanent habitat but on to today's video, guys. We found one baby redfoot, so that means there is most likely more inside of here that are either about to hatch, have hatched already, and they're, maybe they're up in there. Maybe they've already been eaten by the parents. Guys, there is only one way to find out, and that is by going through the pen. Now, before we do that, guys, we're gonna feed them some papaya because if we don't feed them, the tortoises are going to be trying to eat my shoes the whole time that I'm in there. So we gotta get them distracted. We've got some fresh papaya. This is all grown right here on my farm. Guys, we're just gonna split this papaya in half, 
just like this. And we've got some delicious homegrown organic fresh papaya right here, which is extremely healthy for these red foot. So we're gonna put some of this right up here on these bricks. Come on guys, let's go guys. Come on guys, you can see that these red foots waste no time to come and eat the fruit. These are extremely personable and just one of the coolest tortoises that you can have. I mean, look how cool they are. They come right to you, all three of them, munching down, going crazy for some papaya. Come on guys, here, we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put this one there. Guys, come on, let's go, come on, come on. So these guys are gonna be munching there and the other red foots are going to follow suit. They're gonna all be coming out, but we're gonna actually move some of them. So we're just gonna take our plywood. We're gonna put it that way. We're gonna take this, we're gonna take the lid, and we're gonna take this wood. We're just gonna toss it right there. And guys, we're gonna lift up right now in three, two, one, look at that. We've got a lot of redfoots in here. We've got a decent amount of redfoots. Guys, look at all the redfoots right now. They're absolutely going insane devouring the papaya. So these guys are distracted right now. They're getting their fresh papaya snack to cool off on this hot afternoon. And it is time for us to extract this area. So this area right here is where all the redfoots lay eggs. They've just kind of chosen this area and I've dug in it out, put some sand to make soft, nice ground for egg laying. So it really doesn't look like much right here, but guys, I know exactly where a lot of their nest cavities are because a lot of times they reuse them. So guys, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my fingers in here and I feel that the ground is soft here. So I'm just gonna start lifting this up right here. And as you can see, where is it? It's right, where is it? Okay, it's, it's here, I feel it. Right here is where there is either a current nest cavity or a former nest cavity, but I know it was in this area. So we're just gonna look at that. The ground is just coming up completely and we're just gonna dig around in here and see what we can find. Guys, I'm hoping we're gonna find some more red foots. Just because there's no red foots actually lurking around and above the ground, that doesn't mean they're not stuck inside of this dirt, stuck in the mud. So we're gonna keep digging. Where is there some other nest deposits? Let's see, let's feel. Okay guys, we got another one right here. We've got another one, we're going. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is an egg right here that was inside of the nest cavity. Let me gently extract it to see if there's any more eggs in here. But guys, look, this is where this was right here. There was only one lone egg, but this egg I don't think is fertile because guys, it's light. It feels empty and look, look at the pattern and look at the texture on this egg. It's very porous, meaning the egg didn't have enough calcium, so it, maybe it got soft, maybe it was brittle, but as you can see, it's got almost like a pattern to it. It feels light as a feather, so guys, I think we're gonna crack this egg open to see what is inside. Maybe this was a part of the same clutch. Maybe whatever baby tortoise was supposed to come out of this egg was going to be brothers with the other one, guys. I'm not sure, but so guys, comment down below what you think we're gonna find in this egg, and we're gonna take it right on here, guys, and we're gonna crack it open. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. There is dried up egg. It doesn't smell like anything, guys, but look how insane this is. There was yolk in this egg, but obviously it didn't develop into anything, but look how cool that is. This is actually the first time I've actually cracked open a red foot egg like that. And you can see it is just this yellow material that's just hard as a rock and just breaks up. And this egg is toast. Come look right here, right where I found the other egg. There is remnants of other tortoise eggs in here. So this looks like an egg that either hatched out. This very well could have been the one that we already found, or this could have been another infertile egg, guys. I am not entirely sure, but I found another nest deposit here. And look, guys, we have some red foot tortoise eggs. These are fresh eggs that we found right in here. So look at that, guys. There are some beautiful new red foot eggs. I'd say that we've got one, two, three, and four eggs, guys. This is absolutely amazing now. This could be from the same clutch that is hatching out. I'm not sure, but what I am sure of is we've got to get these eggs out. But guys, we're going to have to actually kind of cover them back up just a little bit, just like that, because we have nowhere to put the eggs. So we got to go get a container for these eggs. One minute, 37 seconds later. Guys, we're going to have to be quick with this because the tortoises are starting to come at us. But let's start uncovering these eggs. We've got our little tray right now. Now we don't know how long these eggs have been in the dirt, so we're gonna have to pull them up in an upright position. So we've got egg number one, egg number two right here. Let's actually put it right here, let's see. Egg number two, and we're gonna have to move this right up here because the tortoises are gonna try to get it. So we got egg number two, egg number three, and egg number four, guys. Look at this. These look to be fresh because they're very white. 
whenever they've been in the ground for a while, most of the time they get to be a little infertile and they turn almost like a brown color. But seeing these super white eggs is a great sign that they're fertile. This is an absolutely amazing day. We found a ground hatched redfoot. We found four more eggs. And by the look of these eggs, these are very fresh eggs laid within, you know, about a day or so of today is what I would say, just because of how white they are. So guys, we're gonna put the eggs on under and go back and search for more baby tortoises. I am literally being attacked left and right by these redfoot tortoises. And I don't want them to potentially step on any eggs or baby tortoises that are here. Let me check this side right here. We're going. We're moving right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. So we're digging around some more. Just because these tortoises are coming at us, we gotta be really quick with this. But let's check this hole again. Look, there's some more. Oh no, no, oh my gosh. He almost just stepped on it, guys. Look, I just noticed there was some more egg inside of this hole that we didn't previously see. And look, guys, we just saved this little tortoise from suffocating inside of the dirt, guys. Wow, this other one almost just stepped and totally destroyed him, guys. And if you were looking at this from a distance, look how hard it would be to see this baby tortoise. If we just put this little tortoise right here, he almost looks like a rock inside of this pen. This has been an epic day. We got two ground hatch redfoots and four redfoot eggs. I couldn't think of a better day here on the preserve finding and helping these little animals. So guys, he's all covered in dirt. We gotta rinse him off just like we did the other. But we wanna make sure this water is nice and cool because right now, guys, it is way too hot for this little baby tortoise. So we're just gonna go right now. We're gonna spray this water. We're gonna wait for it to get nice and cool. And it is the perfect temperature. So guys, watch the transformation of this little baby tortoise when we rinse it off. It's gonna go from looking like a little rock into a precious little gem, guys. Look at this. Look at that, guys. We're gonna rinse them. Look how amazing this is. Now we wanna rinse this yolk sack off good. Let's see. And look at that, guys. A perfect gorgeous tiny baby redfoot this is exactly what we came for today this is what we were looking for once we found the first one this is so amazing to be around these animals every day so here are the two baby redfoot tortoises that we rescued from the ground now they're a little bit dirty we still have got to soak them we got to give them some food but honestly i don't think they're going to eat just yet because they still have not fully absorbed their yolk sac they'll probably eat in about a week but look how perfect these adorable gems are i'm so happy that we were able to rescue these two little guys from getting crushed and even eaten by their parents, as well as finding these four beautiful redfoot tortoise eggs, guys. An absolutely crazy day here on the preserve. I'm so glad we were able to do this. And guys, I know everyone has been asking me about redfoots when they're gonna be on the website. Well, guys, these two right here are on the website right now. They are live. So you guys have the opportunity to go right now to jacobfetter.com and purchase either one of these little baby tortoises. Get them while you can because we only have two available. Now I do wanna give you one disclaimer. These guys are not gonna be ready to be shipped out for about two weeks because I wanna make sure they're eating and make sure that their yolk sacs are absorbed. So if you guys get them, they're gonna ship out um, in two Wednesdays from now. So guys, go get them while you can. I know they're not gonna last. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video where we rescued these little baby tortoises from drowning in mud and collecting these redfoot eggs. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a name for these two baby tortoises. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you wanna see us dig up more turtle eggs, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, well guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.